Download an archive containing files required for the lesson from our website. The archive contains the final.pma file with the end result. Open it and see what we'll learn today. The archive also contains folders with media files that you'll need for the lesson. During this lesson, we will create and modify pages, add and configure widgets, learn to copy items to facilitate your work. We will also modify the navigation bar and table of contents. Let's create a new project. To do that, navigate to the File section of the main menu and select New. First, we'll configure the navigation bar. Launch the inspector and move to the navigation bar tab. Increase the panel size in the bar size field. Please note that all the elements are increased automatically. Let's make the panel background transparent by setting the alpha channel value to zero. Then we'll change the toolbar button color by selecting dark gray. We'll configure the page background and title. Select a page in the sidebar and open the page tab in the inspector. Let's make the page background white. To change the settings of the page title font, move to the font settings tab. I will select the Open Sans font for the title. The color will be dark gray. Let's increase the font size. Then we'll change the title text for the current page. Let's call it Dubai. To do that, click twice on the page title, type the text, and press Enter. We have configured the navigation bar and the page appearance. Now is the time to add widgets to it. Click the Add Gallery button. A file selection window will pop up. Navigate to the Photos folder in the Dubai folder. Select All Photos and click Open. A window has now appeared in the page, with which you can interact instantly by scrolling pictures. We'll come back to Settings and Appearance later, after all widgets have been created. Now, let's add the video. Click the Add Video button and select the video file from the Dubai folder in the pop-up window. Add the panoramic picture of the city. Select Add Interactive Image and point to the Dubai Panorama file. Now, let's add text boxes. Click Add Text Widget. Select the added widget from the sidebar and open the Widget Settings top tab. Here, you can enter the text and add images. Open the city.txt file in Explorer and copy the text into an appropriate field. To add an image, click the button and select the file. Set the image position below text. Increase the image size relative to the text. Add another text box and copy the text from the climate.txt file. Select the image and set the top position. Finally, we add the online city map. To do this, select Add Online Map Widget in the toolbar. The map has just one property, that is, Embed Map Code. We'll insert the map code to embed the map. The map will load immediately if an internet connection is available. Let's change widget titles. To do that, click the title twice, type the text, and press Enter. To rearrange widgets, 
select the page and click Distribute Widgets Randomly. Click on to select a suitable appearance. Now it's time to look at the widget appearance. Select a widget and navigate to the Appearance tab. Here you can see numerous appearance settings. However, we'll only change the widget background and frame. I'll make the background white. The frame will be light gray and thin. We'll change the appearance of the widget title in the Font Settings section. The title position will be top center. The font will be white. The font size will be 46 pixels. Now the widget looks as it should. I want the remaining widgets on this page to look the same. To do this, I select the newly configured widget and click the Apply Current Style to Page Item in the Format section of the main menu. Now all widgets on the page have the same appearance. Select Apply Current Style to Project to apply the same appearance to all widgets on all pages, including newly added. Let's change the appearance in some widgets. I'll make the title black for the article about the city. I'll hide the online map title. I'll move the title for the video to the bottom left corner. Let's make the text larger. Select two text widgets. Press and hold Control and right click in the work area or sidebar. We'll center the text and increase its size from the font tab in the widget settings. Congratulations, we finished the first page. It's about time we saved the project. Select File from the main menu, then Save, give name to the project, and select the location to save it. I'll call it My Project and save it on the desktop. As a result, the entire project will be written in a single file that contains not only all the project settings, but all downloaded files, images, videos, and 3D models. Thus, if you open this file on any other computer, you will see exactly the same presentation. To avoid creating a new page, we'll just copy the existing one. To do that, select the page and click Copy in the Edit section of the main menu, or just press Ctrl-C. Then click Paste or press Ctrl-V twice. Now we have two pages identical to the first one. We only have to change the text and images. Let's move to the second page. To do this, double-click the necessary page in the sidebar. Change the title text to Tokyo. Select an image gallery. Click Select Images in the Widget Properties on the Inspector's first tab. In the File Selection window, navigate to the Photos folder in the Tokyo folder, select All Files, and press Enter. In this way, we have changed the contents of the current widget. Let's select the Video widget. In the Widget Properties, click Select Video and point to a new file named trainrailwaytimelapse.mp4. Now let's move to the interactive image widget and replace the background with the tokyopanorama.jpg file. In the text widget, we change the text first. Then we copy a new text. We do the same for the second text widget. Select the map widget and insert a new online map code. Finally, we add to the page a new widget containing a Tokyo subway map. We'll use the interactive image widget for that. This would allow users to zoom up and inspect the map in greater detail. 
Let's hide the text for this widget and arrange the boxes. To do this, select the page and click Distribute Widgets Randomly. I also want to change the page appearance by making the text white and the background black. We select a page in the sidebar. In the Page Properties, specify black color for the background. In the Font Settings, we make the title color white for contrast. Now, we need to make the background black for all widgets. To do this, with Shift or Control pressed, select all widgets in the current page. Navigate to the Appearance tab. Make the background black. The frame will be dark gray. We see that the dark font of text widgets merges with the background. Press Control and right-click in the work area. Navigate to the Font tab in the Widget Properties and select White Color. One of the widgets also requires changes to its title. Select this widget, move to the Font Settings tab and change the color. The second page is ready. Let's proceed to the third page. To navigate between pages, you can use the bottom panel buttons. We'll change the widget content in the same way. To do this, we'll use images and videos from the London folder. Our presentation is ready now. We have three pages with various widgets, but I still want to customize the table of contents. By default, this is a list with page titles. Instead, I want to use easy to see page thumbnails. Navigate to the Contents tab and select Icons in the Style field. Let's call the menu again. We see only black boxes. We need to create thumbnails for each page. Let's move to the Page Properties and click the Make a Snapshot button. We see that the page image has appeared in the Table of Contents. Repeat it for the remaining pages. We now have a great informative Table of Contents.